Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. A little bit of abbreviated uh, update tonight. I got a my kids' schedule change. I got to take them to uh, basketball training a little bit earlier. So I'm kind of going to make a couple of points here, kind of get you guys uh, set up for tomorrow, and then uh, hopefully we can have a, a really good uh, seamless session uh, for tomorrow. Only thing I ask is, guys, take a moment out, support the channel, uh, just click a like on the video, all I ask, and I'll hopefully con again continue uh, to bring you uh, daily value. So let's get into it. Uh, a couple of days ago, we had that big reversal, and the question was, well, was this kind of uh, a scenario of the true market reflecting the previous uh, week's action leading up to the election, or was this just kind of a, a relief bounce, right? We had this back test. We kind of fill in the gap. We held the 34-day moving average that we talked about yes, a couple weeks ago, a couple of days ago, excuse me. Uh, and now we're going to bounce. Uh, we got a really good vibe today. Definitely, definitely a good uh, baby step vibe today. Uh, the levels that we talked about on the QQQs got reclaimed today. As you can see here, if you go back to a couple of videos, we talked about a, a reclaiming back of that 503 level. As you can see here, it stopped right at this 503 level, which is the cross between the five and the 10-day moving average. Again, five and 10-day moving average are the shortest term sentiments you could possibly have. If we can confirm above those channels, we can start moving our way up. This is the first day uh, we saw probably in about four or five days that the mega cap names woke up. Okay, they're obviously not yet uh, out of uh, the forest. There's still a lot of plenty of trees to cut down, a lot of supply zones. But if you look at the importance of NVIDIA, right, and this is, it, it really is uh, a viable uh, company now that is the leader. Okay, uh, the NVIDIA woke up. Uh, ahead of its earnings call tomorrow. Again, we can constantly, constantly and continuously see massive flow, folks. Massive, massive flow. I mean, I don't know how much money uh, there's been bet on uh, NVIDIA ahead of earnings tomorrow to the upside, but if they're wrong, they're going to be wrong very, very aggressively. Again, we saw the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s uh, trading the last couple of weeks. They report tomorrow after hour. And you can, again, you can see the importance of NVIDIA, not just for uh, the semiconductor group, but all all mega cap, right? Every single mega cap today, for the most part, pretty much woke up. You go one by one here. You know, you, NVIDIA took up uh, Amazon today. Again, Amazon may be a day or two away uh, from waking up. Um, Meta even woke up, right? Meta even woke up right before I left the webinar. There was a reload buyer sitting there uh, on the 558 offer. They were just buying, 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 accumulating stock off the 558. We saw some 565. Uh, weeklies come in. We also saw some 580s coming in uh, for next week's uh, expiration, right? The very, very important part. Uh, Google today had a really, really strong uh, banner day today. It's attempting to get back above this whole channel today, reclaim back the five, reclaim the 10. All Google needs to do is put in a base here above 179. This thing is uh, off and running. Really, really good looking chart uh, going into uh, tomorrow's uh, session. Even AMD, right? AMD had that nice reversal yesterday. And if you guys remember after the close, their uh, chief accounting officer resigned, which again was a very, very big uh, eyebrow raise, but they shook it off. And that's a very, very important fact that they did shake it off uh, and the stock proceeded to move higher. Again, it's still nowhere near out of the woods, but a nice little baby step needs to get back above uh, the 10-day moving average. I'm assuming if, if NVIDIA's earnings are going to be good after the close, maybe everything uh, gets aggressively pulled up. Uh, Netflix, if you guys remember, uh, streamed live, right? The Jake Paul Tyson stage dance -a -thon. It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> poor job. There's a lot of buffering. Uh, initial weakness got bought yesterday. Stock continues to go uh, absolutely nuts. And Tesla, Tesla, very, very important, guys. We are getting close, okay? I think we're getting super duper close of challenging back of those 1111 highs. Uh, we are seeing now uh, two days in a row of resting, two days in a row of them coming in for 360 calls weeklies. 
360, 370 weeklies. We're seeing, uh, we are seeing December 400 calls there. Again, they're betting very aggressively, guys. December is only two weeks away and they're betting, you know, December 375, 380 and 400 calls. I, I think Tesla is one or two day away from just getting, you see this whole little channel here, forget about the, you know, forget about the November, uh, November highs. You see this little channel here, how many times it's gotten rejected off this channel here. If it could just get back above this channel here, there should be at least a $10 move into those 11, 11 highs. And if those 11, 11 highs confirm, we're going to see a big, big expansion day into the 370, 375 area. So Tesla continues to do uh, very, very well. Again, even the, the names that we talked about yesterday, right? Talked about nest yesterday names that had nothing to do with uh, nothing new with beta. You guys remember Lemonade from yesterday? Look what Lemonade did. This, this thing had a massive, massive move. Congratulations to all you guys uh, who caught the pivot. 35.17 confirmed. The damn thing went to uh, nearly 41. Uh, DraftKings looks great, right? DraftKings looks great for tomorrow, folks. Not a lot of option flow. I haven't seen a lot of flow in the name, but folks, look at how long this distribution is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tomorrow will be day, day eight. You're talking about nearly two weeks of, of digestion. Watch DraftKings tomorrow. If, you, if it gets back above this whole channel here, this thing could wake up as well. Let me give you guys some names, and then I have to skedaddle. That's an old person's word, okay? So I like DraftKings. Um, I definitely, definitely like, uh, I definitely, definitely like uh, Tesla. Again, above the range we talked about. On uh, NVIDIA tomorrow, we will be watching. I have a very, very specific pivot uh, that we will talk about tomorrow on the webinar, but I am definitely watching uh, NVIDIA for tomorrow and especially after hours, depending on the reaction. But let me give you guys some daily charts that I really like. Look at this PAYO. Uh, we talked about this thing yesterday. This thing is close, man. Look how tight this thing is getting. This thing is close to an expansion day. Uh, definitely, definitely watch that as well. MSTR went crazy today, right? MSTR went crazy. You had that Bitcoin ETF uh, present itself. MSTR went crazy. Coinbase that had a huge move yesterday had a digestion day. But folks, look how close. Look at this tight range here. I know it's crazy. The stock sometimes moves in 20, 30 point moves. But Coinbase is getting super duper tight. All Coinbase needs to do is uh, conf uh, confirm the November highs. And this thing could be pushing into the 350 level. Very, very uh, strong looking chart. And last but not least, look at this OS OSCR. You see how many times it's been rejected off the 50-day? Again, 50-day moving average is super duper important. Got rejected off the 50-day moving average in the start of November. Got rejected off the 50-day moving average today. If they could finally get back above the 50-day moving average, look how much airspace you have. You have airspace all the way up uh, to the September high. So tomorrow... Uh, obviously a very, very important session. You have NVIDIA. If today was a clue, right? If today was a clue how strong NVIDIA is and how much weight it has on the other tech sector, just rallying it ahead of earnings, then it's going to play a major, major role of what happens next going into the mega cap technology space into the, into the Thanksgiving Day holiday. Guys, God bless everybody. Unfortunately, I got to run. Sometimes short and sweet is a little bit better than short and not so sweet. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I will see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care.